Is that Michelle California Romance Girl? My Chemical Romance Girl asks, How do I show PDA with my boyfriend without being gross? What's PDA? What does PDA mean? I'm only a nine-year-old kid that hadn't learned that yet. I would just try to think of anything that you wouldn't want to see other couples doing and don't do it. You use common sense. Don't push your fingers under his clothes. Don't be too clingy to each other. Don't get up all on each other. Like, don't grope each other when you do that. You could kiss him, but you but you shouldn't kiss him for that long because then it gets gross. Usually just a kiss on the cheek is pretty, pretty tame. If you kiss for like, five seconds, that's that. That's too far. Just go for a hug or a short kiss so nobody has to see that. Don't ever make out in public, because that's just gonna freak people out. Well, you gotta do it as you feel it, sweetheart. You know, you don't wanna climb his body, but give him a kiss and give him a hug. Boy, guys love that. You can sit in the movies and maybe, like my husband and I do, give a little kiss on the cheek before the movie starts. Just as long as you're not just like making out or whatever, just like tone it down if you're gonna do it in public. Cause being around that gets a little awkward. So don't make it awkward for everyone else. It would be good to show uh, a little class with that. Um, just give him a hug, hold his hand. There are other cultures where you kind of keep that to yourself and you do it in private. I kind of like that part. George Birkin asks, How do I win the Game of Thrones? What's that? If you want to win the Game of Thrones, you should probably watch Game of Thrones. I haven't watched it. Well, you better watch that show very closely and watch all the strategy. Is it possible to win the Game of Thrones? I feel like everybody will just die with dragons and fire. It's hard to say because everybody who I think is going to win dies. Just be relentless and make sure, don't trust anybody. I would say treat it like a game of chess. Use the same principles. And if you're focused on winning, you should. Fight the dirtiest and the hardest. Train to be an amazing fighter and maybe you'll win. You probably have to poison some few people, become king. Eliminate your competition. And then you gotta win over everyone around you. Call on a war. If you really want if you really want that throne, you'll do anything to get it. I'm gonna have to go with ride a dragon. Befriend all the dragons in the series, put them all together, and then ride all of them. Get a humongous throne. Humongous. And then get a humongous crown. And then get a lot of servants and say, off with your head! Alyssa Earhart wants to know How do you deal with losing? <laughs> That's easy, you just don't lose. Next, keep your chin up, fake a smile, you know, fake it till you make it. Don't dwell on it. Find something else to do. Something that makes you happy. Go see a movie, watch a TV show, play a game you like on the computer. You don't set yourself up in your mind that you're going to win. You go out and do your best, and don't be disappointed if you do lose. How I? Do losing is I get my anger out on someone. I don't know how, but I just get it out on my dad. It kind of depends on sportsmanship. Just as long as you have sportsmanship, you won't really have a hard time dealing with losing. I usually say GG for good game, and I also always have a smile on my face because I was happy we got to play the game. I deal with losing by Remembering, oh, I have more games to play. This isn't my last game. In the long run, it's better to just learn from your mistakes of why you lost and not to be too bitter about it. Just try to swallow your pride, congratulate the other person. You just gotta suck it up and accept it. You win some, you lose some. That's something that everybody has to go through, but just don't be too hard on yourself. I just say to myself, like, for every loss, there's a win, and for every win, there's a loss. So you'll, you'll keep losing but you'll also keep winning. I'm a philosopher now. Rory, is that Rory? That's beautiful. McNally. How do I stop my dog from eating everything? If he's eating your homework, you're doing a good job. You give them a bone. Make sure it's a big one. Give him stuff to chew on that he de that he'll like. You need to train that dog. It's on you. Get a spray bottle filled with water, and when it tries to eat something it, could, it shouldn't, Spray it with the bottle. You could probably buy that dog spray, like you spray it on anything and the dogs absolutely hate it. So if, there, if there's something you don't, want, you don't want them chewing on, it's like spray it all over. You need to get your dog a cone so it physically can't eat anything and you have to feed it with a spoon. Cover his mouth with that, you know, when you go for a walking, put on his mouth and he cannot eat. You probably ought to start by feeding him one, uh, two or three times a day, you know. 
And if that doesn't work, pull out his teeth. Instead of, like, throwing a whole bowl of dog food down, space it out during the day so that he gets used to eating a little less more often. I would just put everything at a place where the dog can't reach, but you can. Dog proof your house. Put everything out of reach. Put it up in cabinets, just like baby proofing it. Call Caesar, because Caesar knows everything about animals. You know who Caesar is? Go to the Animal Planet. You'll find Caesar. Banana power. Banana power. Yes. What's the best dance to do at a party? The hula? No. The foxtrot? No. You could do the conga. Everybody knows the running man. It's the easiest thing to do. You just gotta like run in place. You can go for the old John Travolta. Well, I still like the 60s, so I still, you know, I like to do the twist and the Watusi and the mashed potato and, and all those things back then. My best dance move is cartwheels. Unbelievable. At 66, I can still do cartwheels. The Bernie. You know, that's probably my favorite dance to do at a party. You know, do I like this? Pretending like you're dead? Or from the movie? Obviously the Harlem Shake, guys. It's the best dance in the world. I would come up with an original dance move that makes you feel good and just rock out with it. I always do a little shoulder action. That's always good. Keep it simple. In my 20s, I was a ballroom dance champion. All I can tell you is, it's depend on the music. You just do random dance moves like this. <laughs> Obviously the sprinkler. And then you have to go like Works for me. It's been working since 1995. I was, <laughs> I was in the womb <laughs> doing the sprinkler. Thanks for watching this episode of Advice. Subscribe. There are new shows every week. Want our advice? Then leave your questions in the comments. Good, 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 good. Bye-bye. Bye. Do the Harlem Shake.